<laughs> Those drums sound really great. Big sounding snare. And that bass player really knows how to lay a groove down. That's really a big, hot, smoking band we're listening to. That's no band. That's the exciting new Casio Tone Bank series of keyboards. That's right. Every note that you have just heard and every piece of music that you will hear during the next half hour was played on a Casio keyboard just like yours. Why, it's like having a band in a box. Yet, unlike some musicians I know, your Casio doesn't talk back and it's always on time. Hi, I'm Jay Levy and I'm going to show you how you can join that band with the fun and easy Casio Play Today approach to learning music. I promise you that in the next half hour you will learn all that you need to get you started with your new Casio keyboard. And the Casio Play Today approach to learning makes it fun and easy. Come on with me and I'll introduce you to the rest of the band. While the various models in the Casio Tone Bank series of keyboards may differ in some ways, they all have basic features in common. What we learn today applies to any keyboard in the Casio Tone Bank series. Let's start with the basics. Make sure that you have properly installed the correct type of batteries or that you have connected the optional Casio AC adapter and plugged it into a power outlet. Turn the power cord switch to the on position. Don't worry about the other positions with the funny names for now, we'll get to them soon. Adjust the main volume control to an appropriate listening level. What is appropriate depends on your personal taste as well as your neighbor's hearing and tolerance. Notice that when you turn on your Casio keyboard, it is automatically set to play the piano sound. In just a while, I'll tell you how to get to some of the other amazing sounds that your keyboard can produce. As part of the Casio Play Today approach to learning, we will be using the Casio Index System. Notice the numbers in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. These numbers enable you to skip ahead to another section or to return at a later time to review what you've learned. The Casio Index System lets you study and review at your own pace. You don't have to worry about missing anything since you can easily return to any section. It's all part of the Casio Play Today approach to learning. One of the great things about learning to play an instrument is sharing the fun of making music with your family and friends. And if your friends happen to be as beautiful as my friends are, well, it's even more fun. This is Andrea. She is going to be our first musical victim today and will help us demonstrate some of the things that we'll be learning. Are you ready to play today? I'm ready to give it my best shot, but I'm not so sure about that victim part. We've just begun and I'm already in trouble. Well, one thing I know won't be any trouble at all is learning to recognize and play five simple notes. Uh-uh, please, don't touch your dials. It really is easy. Watch. Hold your hands in a relaxed position with the fingers slightly curved, sort of as if you were holding a softball or maybe an ostrich egg. The most important thing is to be relaxed and natural. That's great. Try to keep your arms parallel to the keyboard. The musical alphabet consists of the notes A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We're going to begin by learning the five notes, C, D, E, F, and G. C is just to the left of the two black notes, and middle C is the first C to the right of the chord section of your keyboard. Andrea, why don't you organize a search party for us and see if you can find middle C? I think I've got it. You certainly did. That's great. The white notes to the right of C are D, E, F, and G. Your thumb plays C, finger two plays D, finger three plays E, Finger four plays F, and finger five, which is your pinky, plays G. Now I'm going to have my Casio keyboard play a funky beat using its auto rhythm section. I'll tell you more about this feature in a while, but for now, here's a fun way to practice the five notes with the proper fingering. Your thumb is on C, finger two is on D, finger three is on E, four is F, and five is G. Now what I want you to do is, Andrea and everybody at home, let's play along together, do the rap, let's rap along with J. Two, and. Your thumb is on C, finger two is on D, finger three is on E, four is F, and five is G. That was great. Now that you know everything that there is to know about C, D, E, F, and G, let's see what these notes look like when they're written using musical notation. Uh-uh, please don't touch your dial. Spend a few moments with me and see what written music looks like. Reading music gives you access to the hundreds of thousands of songs that are available as sheet music. 
And I do have an extra added incentive for you to stick with me for this section. Follow along, and in a while, I'll show you how you can mystify your friends and neighbors by magically transforming the sound of your Casio from a piano to a flute. And that's a pretty neat trick. Let's see what C, D, E, F, and G look like written as music. And remember, you'll be able to play along with us today whether you spend time on the optional written notation sections or you skip ahead. Now, on to writing our five notes on the staff. The staff is made up of five lines with four spaces in between. Where a note is placed on the lines and spaces tell us what its name is. This is what C, D, E, F, and G look like written as musical notation. As promised, I am now going to show you how to get an almost unlimited variety of sounds from your Casio keyboard. Here's how to select the basic preset tones. Find the select button in the tone section of your keyboard. Have you found that, Andrea? I found it. Great. Notice that each tone button has two sounds written next to it, an upper and a lower one. Pressing the select button lets you choose between the upper and lower sounds. The red light next to the select button shows you whether you're choosing an upper or a lower sound. With the red light on, press the tone button for the synth read sound. That's great. And if you want to try a different sound instead, be my guest, since after all, it is your Casio. Why don't you practice playing the notes C, D, E, F, and G using the presets? You might want to put your video machine in the pause mode and hear all of the incredible sounds you can get with just five notes and your Casio Tone Bank keyboard. I think it's time that we take everything that we've learned so far and put it all together and play a song. You've all seen the bouncing balls used for sing-alongs. As part of the Casio Play Today approach to learning, we're going to use the Casio bouncing ball, which will help take some of the mystery out of written music. The ball will bounce on the key that you should be playing and will stay on that key for the correct amount of time. Then it will bounce on to the next note to be played. Listen as Andrea and I play one of Ludwig von Beethoven's greatest hits, Ode to Joy. Watch the keyboard on your screen as the Casio bouncing ball shows you which keys to play. Each measure or bar of music that we will play today has four beats. This is another way of saying that its time signature is 4-4. Four, four. Each measure has four beats and each beat is a quarter note. So that means that there are four quarter notes to a measure and that there are two half notes to a measure. I know that sounds really hard, but it's easy when you think about it. Please, please don't touch your dial. All of this music stuff really makes sense. A half note is twice as long as a quarter note, just the same as a half dollar is twice as much as a quarter. Let's play Ode to Joy again, this time noticing the different rhythm values of each note. If you'd like to try something new with the melody that we've just learned, moving upwards to the right on your keyboard from middle C, count seven white keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we are. The seventh key is also called C, only we refer to it quite naturally as C above middle C. If you play Ode to Joy again, only this time starting in the octave of C above middle C, you'll hear the exact same melody, only this time it sounds higher. Here we go. In fact, what we are doing is playing the melody an octave higher. Oh, and by the way, during the examples that you've been playing along with, I'm sure that you have also noticed the terrific sounding drums that were playing along with the melody. 
Those great sounds and lots more are all built into your Casio Tone Bank keyboard. So in case you were wondering where the rest of the band was, well, hang in there. We'll be meeting them real soon. One thing that makes your new Casio keyboard really special is its tone bank feature. With it, you can combine preset tones to create lots of brand new exciting sounds. And what's more, it really is easy to do. Watch. First, we choose any of the basic preset tones. The first tone that we select will be our basic or primary sound. Why don't we try the jazz organ sound? Play your keyboard and notice what it sounds like. It sounds like a jazz organ. Now press the tone bank button. This allows you to choose another sound to combine with the basic primary sound that we've already selected. Let's now choose any other preset tone. Oh, how about the brass ensemble preset? Play your keyboard and listen to the new sound. What you're hearing is a combination of the two preset tones that we have selected. To start with a different primary sound, press the tone bank button so that the light goes out, select a new primary tone, and repeat the steps that we've just learned. That's all there is to it. If you like, you can pause your video machine now and experiment with the tone bank feature. It really is like having your own sound lab where you can combine bells with pianos or an organ with a guitar. Have fun with it. Now that we know how to get some great new sounds out of our Casio keyboards, why don't we try some of them out as we learn a new song? I'm sure you all know Love Me Tender. Believe it or not, the only notes that we'll need to play this song are once again our familiar friends C, D, E, F, and G. Follow the Casio bouncing ball as it shows you which keys to play on your keyboard and play the melody along with us. Here we go. That was terrific. Elvis would have been proud of you. Who knows, Elvis might even show up to sing along with us for our next segment. Now that we can play a melody using all of the amazing sounds in our Casio keyboards, I think that it's time for us to meet the rest of the band. First, let's meet our drummer. Casio has used the same technology that makes a compact disc player sound so good to digitally record the sound of actual drums that you can play from your keyboard. Select the percussion tone on your Casio, and your keyboard becomes a giant drum set. This allows you to play the dozens of built-in percussion sounds. You might even like to pause your video now and play with the different sounds for a while. Hit different keys at random, and I think you'll be very surprised with the sounds that you come up with. Using this preset, you can play percussion along with records or with live music. But I'm sure you'll agree it's not that easy to keep an accurate beat going at a steady tempo using all the different sounds that a drummer might use. Well, don't worry, be happy, because your Casio keyboard also includes an auto rhythm section. Let's see what that does. Find the rhythm section of your keyboard, Andrea. The select button in the rhythm section works just like the select button in the tone section. When the select button is lit, you can choose from the upper rhythms. When it's not lit, you choose from the lower rhythms. Find and press the start-stop button now. I bet you didn't know you were a drummer. That really sounds great, doesn't it? What you're listening to is rock rhythm number one. It's playing a basic beat containing four beats to each measure. Let's count along out loud so we can get a feel for this tempo and see where the beats fall. And one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's great. Keep feeling it. You'll also notice the tempo buttons. Now what these buttons do is speed up or slow down our rhythm section. They are particularly useful when we're learning a new song. You can start at a slow tempo and you can speed up as you become more familiar with the piece. Let's see what we can do with the auto rhythm feature that we've just discovered. We're going to set our keyboards to pop one in the rhythm section. Let's press the start button and get the feel of the rhythm. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now listen as Andrea and I play Love Me Tender along with our drummer. And here we go.
Well, this time it's your turn at home. Pause your video machine and practice playing the melody to Love Me Tender along with the rhythm. How did that sound? It sounded great, but I don't know. I feel like something was missing. Actually, you're right, Andrea. A band is much more than just a drummer and a melody instrument. We need some additional accompaniment. Musical accompaniment usually consists of chords, which are simply three or more notes played at the same time. The music that we will play today uses two basic chord types, major chords and minor chords. Here's a major chord, and here's a minor chord. Uh-uh, please, don't touch that dial. There's really nothing to it. I know, it sounds like there's a lot to learn. You're probably thinking it's near impossible for a beginner to learn to play three note chords with one hand while playing a melody with the other. Well, if you haven't guessed by now, I've got a surprise for you. Casio has built an auto accompaniment system into your keyboard, which gives you a simple way to play most chords with one or two fingers. Here's how the Casio auto accompaniment system works. Set your power chord switch to the Casio chord on position. This puts us in the Casio chord mode, which lets us play most chords with just one or two fingers. Pressing any keys from the second F from the left and below while the power chord switch is set to the on position will give you full chords. Pressing any key in the chord section will give you the major chord with the same name as that key. Press the C key and you'll hear a C chord. Pressing the D key will give you a D chord, the E key gives you an E chord, etc., etc. Now we all remember Love Me Tender, don't we? It uses the major chords F, G, and C. Play those chords along with me. F, G, C. Simple. If there's only one chord symbol per measure, then that chord plays through the entire measure. You change the chord when you see a new one written in the next measure. Now let's see how we get the whole band to play together. First, press the synchro fill-in button so that it lights up. Here it is. This button gets our band in a box to start playing all together. It's sort of like an electronic conductor. Next, select the rhythm that you'd like to use. Let's try Pops 1, but you can experiment later on with any rhythm that you like. Press Start and feel the rhythm. And one, two, three, four. Get ready to begin playing. When you press a lower key in the chord section, the drums, bass, and keyboard all begin to play along perfectly. Let's try it with just the chords to start. Andrea, give it a try with me now. And... Never knew music could be so easy. Great. If you'd like to try out what we've just learned at home, put your video machine in the pause mode, and with the synchro fill-in button on, play the left-hand chords to Love Me Tender. It wasn't hard, was it? Now let's try putting the melody and chords together. Andrea, why don't you give me a hand and show us how it's done? Here we go. Oh, that was great. You've made me and Elvis very happy. I told you it's easy. Now it's time for you at home to pause your video and practice putting together what we've just learned, playing the chords with your left hand and the melody with your right hand. Remember, if you'd like to review anything, just make a note of the Casio index number, rewind your videotape to go over what we've learned so far. By the way, in case you're wondering how I got the band to play that fancy finale that you just heard, find the intro ending button on your Casio, Pressing this button during the last measure of a song gives you an automatic fancy ending. You can also use the intro ending button to create a terrific introduction by pressing it at the beginning of a song. I hope you're beginning to see that your Casio keyboard really is a band in a box. George Harrison had a big hit with his recording of Got My Mind Set On You. On the record, he was accompanied by Ringo Starr, Eric Clapton, Jeff Lynne, and Elton John. 
Today, your Casio Tone Bank keyboard will fill in for all of those great players and will do everything except make T. This song uses minor chords as well as major chords. You remember how to play a major chord, don't you, Andrea? Sure. You set the power chord switch to the Casio chord position and press one key in the chord section. Good memory. Now here's how to get a minor chord. You press two keys at the same time. This will give you the minor chord with the name of the lower of the two keys that you are pressing. For example, if you press C and D, you'll get a C minor chord. Now the two keys don't have to be next to each other for this to work. So if you press a C and then an F, you'll still hear a C minor chord. You'd be surprised to know how many songs can be played using major and minor chords with just two fingers in the Casio chord system. And I'll bet you that one of those has got my mind set on you. You're absolutely right. Let's start by learning to play the chords together. Set your power chord switch to the Casio chord on position. Remember that the minor chords are played using the key with the chord name and any note to the right of it, while major chords are played by pressing the key with the same name as your chord. While my Casio plays the rhythm and accompaniment, Follow the chords on your screen and play along with me. Try to feel the rhythm of the song and play along in time. Here we go. Now that you know the chords, let's learn the melody. Follow the Casio bouncing ball as it shows you which keys to play. Here we go. Right before we got to the chorus that last time, you might have noticed that our Casio drummer let loose and played a great drum fill. Well, that's the other function of the synchro fill-in button. If you hit this button while a pattern is playing, you'll get a drum fill which varies the pattern. This feature is particularly good for adding some excitement to a song at the beginning of a chorus or when a chorus repeats. You can experiment with this on your own because there is no one right way to use it. Have fun. Now it's time for you at home to put everything together and play this song using both hands. Set the rhythm section of your keyboard to rock two. Remember to set your power chord switch to the Casio chord on position. Make sure that the synchro fill in button is on. Pause your video machine and practice until you've got it. And remember, you can use the tempo controls to slow down the rhythm so that you can practice at a slower speed. Okay. Press the start-stop button, get the feel of the tempo for a couple of bars. When you're ready to start, pressing any of the lower keys in the chord section will start the accompaniment. Remember, if you want some excitement and variation in the drum pattern, just hit that synchro fill-in button. 
lots of luck. We're going to finish up our lesson for today with the Beach Boys number one hit, Kokomo. It'll give us a chance to use everything we've learned so far. First, let's practice the chords together. Set the rhythm section of your keyboards to Pops 1. With your power chord switch set to the on position of the Casio chord section, play the chords along with me. And here we go. Let's play the song one more time. This time around, follow the Casio bouncing ball as it shows you the melody. You've already learned how to put melody and accompaniment together. To get the whole band playing Kokomo at home, use Pops Rhythm Number 1 and turn on your synchro fill-in button and give it a try. If you need to go over anything that we've learned today, just use your Casio Index for reviewing. We've covered a lot of ground in a short time, I know. You've learned some of the basics of music and I've showed you how to use every single one of the many features and buttons on your Casio keyboard. Wait a minute, Jay. What about that button you showed me before? Oh, that button? Well, sure, actually, I have been holding out on you. You see, my keyboard has a button that really is special. Watch what we can do with the help of a little Casio magic. Thanks for sticking with me, and I hope to see you soon. And remember to keep on making music with Casio. <laughs>